We're going to move on now to our GMA cover story. James Vanderbeek's wife is speaking out after the couple shared her recent miscarriage on Dancing with the Stars. Kimberly is now revealing just how scary it was, saying she nearly died. And ABC's Paula Ferris has the story. This morning, Kimberly Vanderbeek revealing harrowing new details about her most recent miscarriage, which left her almost on the brink of death. In, you know, 48 hours, we lost our baby boy and um, I almost lost my life. Kimberly saying on Instagram that she's now returning to health, but the miscarriage has left her weak. I'm healing. I'm um, definitely healing. Just taking it super easy trying to restore and build my blood. She's the wife of actor James Vanderbeek, who opened up with this heart-rending revelation on Monday night's Dancing with the Stars. That night, a tearful James expressing his anguish in the ballroom. The couple, who are already parents to five children, have been through several miscarriages before. James saying back in October, miscarriage, a word that needs a replacement, nobody failed to carry, these things sometimes just happen, is something that people rarely talk about and often go through in secret, but there needs to be zero shame around it or around giving yourself the time and space to grieve. And Dr. Ashton joins us now. And one of the details there, I, she was actually due in April, right. relatively late for a miscarriage. Yeah, right? it is. But George, first of all, you know, that's a lay term. That's not the medical term. The medical term is spontaneous abortion, means the pregnancy just ended. That can happen in any trimester. Much more common in the first trimester is estimated that as many as one in four pregnancies um, can end this way. But um, it is, it's a major loss. And as we're hearing here, it absolutely can be a life-threatening emergency. Yeah, that hemorrhage was really, really serious. Yeah. How long does it take for the blood to build back up? Well, the, first of all, the important thing is with each advancing trimester, there is more blood flow to the uterus, more blood flow to the placenta and the fetus. So therefore, the risk of hemorrhage does go up, um, depending on whether or not someone has gotten a blood transfusion. You know, if you lose about a liter of blood as an adult woman, that's considered a, a postpartum hemorrhage. Um, and whether you get transfused or not will determine how quickly you feel better. If you don't and you're left still profoundly anemic, it can take two to six weeks for your body to remake new red blood cells. That's so it's one a process. Aspect. Yeah. Yeah. One aspect of feeling better. How about the emotional aspects? That's the hardest part, George. There's no question. We hear this over and over again, but it cannot be talked about enough. This is a major loss for both partners. The grief can be profound. I think people need to know it's nothing they did or didn't do. It's no one's fault. They're not alone. Plenty of people know exactly what they're going through, and the emotional part is actually more difficult to heal than the physical. Important reminder right yeah. there, Jen. Thanks very much.